Now to unsettling video of a local TikToker touching and even chasing women for viral social media videos, including at the Alhambra Safeway. In a world of viral TikTok challenges, this kind of behavior is becoming increasingly common. But at what point does it become criminal? CBS 13 investigative reporter Julie Watts is getting answers. Julie. Yeah, guys, well, legal experts say some of the acts in these videos do cross the legal line, but there are a number of factors that determine whether someone might face criminal charges. Hi. Hi, why are you touching me? From video of a man recording himself, Hi. touching a woman at a Sacramento Hi. Safeway, and then recording me? the reaction when he denies oh, it. I didn't even touch you. To another, recording himself chasing a woman around a store with a guinea pig. What's the deal? I didn't These TikTok videos are getting a lot of attention. A montage of the videos posted on Reddit, seemingly targeting women, including a grandma and her granddaughter, are prompting many to say he should be arrested. But in a world of viral videos where a joke to one person is harassment to another, at what point does this become criminal? Uh, there's no law against being a jerk, um, but there is a law about offensively touching someone or unwanted touching of another person as a simple battery. That's a criminal offense. And Placer County DA Morgan Geyer explains unwanted touching is a misdemeanor that can result in up to six months in jail and a $2,000 fine. Whether or not a case is ultimately prosecuted, that's dependent upon a whole number of factors. He explains in most cases the victim would need to press charges and likely testify. That unfortunately comes with a lot of obligations and burdens. And while he says low-level, simple batteries don't often result in much jail time, there are certainly exceptions for repeat offenders and enhancements for those that target children. And regardless of the charges, targets of harassment can file a restraining order. Get away from you me. Smell. Now, in a statement, Sacramento PD said that they did respond to the Safeway incident and are, quote, working with the Sac County DA's office to determine if criminal charges may apply. They're asking anyone with additional information to reach out to police. CBS 13 did reach out to the man in that video. We have not heard back.